Hello everyone. Welcome to another exciting episode of RPA Quick Bites. In today's video, we will delve into a fascinating world of connecting Jira with UiPath using an API token. So let's dive right in. Guys, before we start to connecting UiPath with Jira, make sure you have a Jira account. If you don't have one, please create an account on Jira website by logging on www.atlassian.com. Once you have your account ready, navigate to Jira software icon and click on this. When you click on this Jira software icon, you see here the different dashboard is open. So in this dashboard, you see project filter, dashboard teams, apps, and many more things. These are the name of the project that I already created. So the first task that we have to done here is to connect Jira account with the UiPath. So how can we do that? So for that, navigate to the Jira homepage and click on Jira software. Then go to your profile and click on it. And here you see a manage account. Click on the manage account. And after clicking the manage account, you see this page. And here you see security. Click on the security and here you see API token or create and manage API token. From here, we can create a new API token or we can use the previously created API tokens. Okay, so now let me hit this create API token. And here you see I already create few API tokens. So if I need to delete these previously created API token, so I just need to revoke and click on the revoke. Okay. And if I need to create a new API token, then just hit on the create API token. And here in this space, you just type the name of the API token that you need to create. Okay, after that, hit the create button. Okay, after creating the API token, you copy the API token that is generated by the system and store it in a safe place. So you can just copy it to their notepad and we later use it i'll tell you where we can use this okay so now just go to your studio and here uh, you see the manage package and in manage package click on the all packages and here you write jira okay when you write the jira you get the jira activity packages so here you see jira activity package you just click on this jira activity package and install it when you install it, you get the activities related to the Jira software. So in activity panel, when I type Jira, you get this Jira scope and all these activities. Jira scope is basically used to connect UiPath with the Jira application. Okay. After installing the package of Jira activities, first drop down the Jira scope activity. And in this Jira scope activity, in your property panel, you see API token and username. In API token, you what you see, this API token is of st secure string type. To make this API token a secure string, I am just I already made this one a secure string. I just copy this API token in a string variable that is LV API token. And here I take another assign activity and here make this LV uh, API token as a secure string. So just go on the Jira scope activity and see what other things I need. I need a username and a server URL. So for this API token, I'll just pass this LV secure API. I pass here and for this username, I have to go back to my this Jira profile page and then just click on the manage account. And here you see this page and in bottom of this page you see a email id or uh, from which you uh, log in jira account okay so just copy that account id and just copy here in the username and for the server url just go on to the home page of the jira software and just copy uh, this http2.net okay just copy it and paste it in the server url So I just paste it and now how we know the uh, this connection is uh, created or not. So for that, uh, let me create an issue in a project. So for type of project I have that is 
that is project test and retail okay i am just creating an issue in this project issue okay for issues i have two issues here that is one is uh, i previously create this for testing and for this this is our issue key oh, okay so let's just copy it or you can type in this okay so this is our project key sorry not issue key it's a project key so here i type capital p and t okay that is okay and the type the type we have in in our jira we have different type so for the type uh, let's see which type we have that is story task bug and epic so this time i am using epic okay so i am giving the epic and let me cross this and go on to the studio again and type here epic okay i type epic and in summary I type hello this is the test issue created created by rahul okay and in description i write this issue is created by chia con okay so i write it and i think all things are done now just run this program okay save it first and then run it now let's see what's happened okay now here our execution is completed so now go back to your jira account page and here you see something let me refresh it first and here you see that is pt3 that is project 3 this is the third issue in this project folder or this project test project test project <laughs> i know this is a little bit confusing because uh, project i create the name project as a project okay so let's anyway so here it is hello this the test issue is created by rahul and when i open this find the description also okay so this is this issue is created by chiacon and this is the summary and this is the description and similarly we can add comments and attachment with this also um, by using the different activities of uh, Jira activity package. Friends, feel free to explore more in this with yourself. And please don't hesitate to leave a comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting automation content. That's all for now. See you in another video. Till then, take care and happy automation.